me 48 hours ago that I am the entertainment committee. <laughs> but I want to thank the people who helped make this weekend possible. Uh, we have our hosts, Bill and Michelle Service. this, but Bill is very frugal. I mean, some might say cheap. <laughs> to save money tonight, uh, Bill wanted to have the dinner catered by the cafeteria lunch ladies. <laughs> <laughs> we were this close to fish sticks and cater I'm like, oh, this close. You guys, thank you for showing up to the 40th reunion. Hey, 40 years. Wow. That's not a joke. Just let that sink in. I mean, according to Scott Reams, we're having our 50th class reunion at Cascade Manor. <laughs> I mean, the theme will be 50 shades of gray hair. <laughs> our motto, instead of strive for excellence, will be strive for exlax. <laughs> but it's fun to think how far we've come today. Um, take Steve Smith, for example. I mean, he was very popular, good looking, smart, our student body president. The world was his oyster. Now, like all of us, we started out at South Eugene High School. And he ended up at South Eugene High School. What the wrong? I mean, seriously. You had the easy commute. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But thank you, Steve, for hosting the tour of the high school today. It brought back a lot of weird memories. Like, like Kelly Oslin incessantly making out with Stacy Vedems at the locker. I, uh, it was weird. No, I don't know. Last night I had a chance to uh, meet a lot of folks at Wild Duck. I saw Mike Ambrose. He shared with me his story of his first sexual experience. <laughs> no, it, it was in the back seat of a green 1974 Plymouth Duster. His only regret is there's no one with him to enjoy it. <laughs> Hey, I ran into Jim Dasso. I asked him what he was doing. He told me he was still working on a paper for Harriet Wilson's AP English class. Wow. And I think about our German teacher, Herr Webkin. Yeah, silly expressions. Uh, I remember this. Now, class, you don't know zilch about boo. And quit yin yang around the hallway and talking to Fifi and Trixie. I mean, German. If I had only learned a more practical language, like uh, Latvian, but uh, I mean, German is not a romance language. Try getting laid by saying, Sie müssen zu geben, dass Sie sicher eins, was haben in Ihrer Anstrengung und genügend sind. in this sanitarium are not very good. Um, but I think about our principal, Don Jackson, and his op progressive open-door policy. Um, Mark Walker, the administration still wants back that door. <laughs> I think about Bob Tobin, my debate partner. I mean, he was always super smart and always ahead of his time. I mean, he was gay before it was fashionable. <laughs> I mean, and then there's some people that look exactly the same. It is amazing to me, like Deborah Judy, Lord Richards, uh, Chris King. You guys, it's amazing. Ageless. Not fair. I mean, after 40 years, I still get zits. I mean, it's <laughs> But so much has changed since high school. Back in the 70s, it was really about being... Back in the 70s, it was really tough being in the closet. And I mean the actual closet. Did you see the clothes we were wearing? I mean, I wanted to come here dressed in a 70s outfit, but let's face it, no one wants to see me in bell bottoms in a tube top. And if you do, let's talk about it later. After and back then, no one looked at their phone. Because they were rotary dialed. Back then, I was straight. Back then, the only gay couple on TV was Bert and Ernie. Back then, people showed off so much hair, like Dale Partial. I mean, even.
even Laurel, even Laurel Fisher had mutton chops. It was weird. Back then, there was only one Star Wars movie, and it was called Star Wars. Back then, we had pet rocks. Now we have pet allergies. Uh, okay, not good. Hey, I gotta remind you, the entertainment committee was paid nothing. You're getting what you paid for. Back then, it was a big deal to have a cassette player in your car. And for Scott Reams, it is still a big deal. And back in high school, you could legally make out with a 15-year-old. Try doing that today. No. Okay. Once again, you paid nothing. <laughs> it's been re great to reconnect. Sorry. It's been great to reconnect with old friends and uh, at the Wild Duck and here tonight. Uh, some fascinating conversations. In fact, I made a top ten list of the things I've overheard so far. Oh. Yeah. Are you ready? Oh, yes. Top ten things I've overheard at the 40th reunion. <laughs> Number ten. Is it too late to date Jeff Hess? <laughs> Number nine, I didn't need to wear a bra in high school. Now my husband does. <laughs> eight. Number eight, can your mom give us a ride home tonight? <laughs> Number seven, some people just get better with age and money. <laughs> Number six, Randy Painter hasn't changed at all and his hairstyle is still the same. <laughs> Number, five, sorry. Number five, it's not a pyramid scheme. It's called multi-level marketing. <laughs> Number four, if I knew he'd be if I knew he'd be rich, I would have given him a hand job at Hendricks Park. <laughs> Whoa, tough crowd. Number three. Number three. A Brad's buy is a better buy. <laughs> Number two. So great to see you, a person whose name tag I cannot read. The number one, number one thing overheard is, so do you think we get a senior discount on drinks tonight? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, want to, I want to close by saying it's great to see you guys after so many years. Like it or not, we are classmates for life. And it's been an honor to share it with you, well, most of you. I do feel a tremendous amount of gratitude, and I hope you do too. So, I would like to raise my glass and make a toast to the class of 79. We're lucky to grow up together and go to school where we did. So let's make a promise right now that we'll do this again in another 40 years. is given a gift to Bill and Michelle yep, for hosting this evening. Thank you. Well, thanks, Bruce. All of you, I guess. This is true. Um, boy, things don't change, do they? Yeah, so it's just been a great, great uh, ride for me being able to be business partners with Bruce. I don't know how we got anything done, frankly. I mean, but, um, we did. Yeah, well, we got a few things, but... Uh, um, so, I don't have any not that kind of, I, he does the, the heavy lifting on that stuff, but, um, and so we'll get back to the reunionizing here in a second, but, um, despite the fact that Bruce, uh, made a deal about the, being the sole member of the entertainment committee, we actually didn't have a formal program tonight. Uh, Steve, Scott, the root, uh, sort of said, no program, nothing. So, so sorry about the in, uh, interruption here, but, um, I do, uh, yeah, back to that. So, um, I, but I want to share a personal story, a couple of personal stories and introduce you actually to a special guest that here's, that's here tonight. So, uh, like just about all of you, I grew up here in Eugene, and um, when it was time to learn how to swim, uh, yeah. my mom took me to the Y. And I learned, I played basketball at the Y, I went to summer camp at the Y, I went, uh, I went to high school across the street from the Y. The director of the Y at the time was Carl Dubois, it turns out he was the father of a good friend of mine from the class of 1978, Rick Dubois. I got my first job at the Y. I traveled with the Y. I went to uh, Yosemite backpacking. I went to Wyoming, Mexico with Steve and Scott and Michelle Leonard and a handful of others. Yeah. And uh, did that a couple times. Went to the Olympics in 76, Montreal with the Y. 
Um, so I was. Totally I was on old. all those trips. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right on. yeah. Excellent. So uh, we were white kids. I mean, that, that's totally. And um, so fast forward almost. Uh, um, and actually, and I, uh, I have a hunch there are a lot of us here tonight that have had some meaningful connection with the Y experience that they've had, or friends, family, whatever. And so fast forward almost 40 years, I joined the board of the Y. Um, and uh, I was moved, Michelle and I wanted to um, uh, see what we could do to help fulfill the dream that many of us had to respond to the growing needs of our community and the demands on that fragile building that's been falling apart for decades, at least the last decade, that's for sure. So, falling apart 40 years ago. Yeah, you know, some have said as soon as that building was built, it was a piece of shit. But um, I should be careful because the person I'm going to interrupt, uh, introduce here has a great vested interest in the quality of that building. Uh, but so, with that as background, I want to introduce Brian Stefan here. He's the CEO of our local Y. And I have him just share a few words about the good news that's impacting our community and the Y, actually, in particular. That I got this attention, it's kind of my party, and I want to do this. So. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you for for introducing that and for taking a moment to let me talk about the work of the YMCA. I, so I've had a few people tonight that have asked me if I'm part of the class of 79, and and I, I've smiled a little bit. So I was born in 78. <laughs> so I, I, but what, what I want to share with that is thank you for leaving a legacy in our community for, for many years. One of the things that I've also learned here tonight is that many people in, in South Eugene High School, over the years they would go to the YMCA and they would eat lunch at the Depository. And one of the things that I've shared that's a little surprising for many of them is that Joyce Mixer is still at the Y every day. Right on! And yeah. she's, she's made her special taco salad for events. She's made her, her turtle pie. And we have, you know, it's still a lot of wonderful connections to that past. The other thing is, is how many of you graduated at Roosevelt Middle School? Junior high. Junior high. Junior high. Junior high. So that is the location where the new YMCA will be built. And you can drive by and look at where your old middle school used to be and see where the new Y will be. We are we're very grateful for individuals like Bill and Michelle who have made the Y a passion point in their life and who have dedicated time to helping the, the new Y become a reality. This community has had a YMCA since 1887. Wow. And we're one of the oldest Ys in Oregon and one of the oldest nonprofits in Lane County. And we're excited to have supportive individuals like Bill and Michelle. Our Y just received $15 million in funding from the state to, to go towards that project. It was the largest non-municipal award wow. that came out of this yeah. last session. Wow. So, and uh, take a tour before we tear down the existing building. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Michelle, for your time. Yeah, we're lucky to have right So, it's time to get back to what we're doing. Okay, and, uh, go dog! Program is over. Um, thanks for coming in. Uh, and we'll uh, figure out. Just to say one thing, a lot of folks are giving money above the $25 that we asked for tonight. <laughs> Everything that we raise above what will co cover the cost of the reunion will be given to half the YMCA and half the South Eugene High School's uh, I can't their fund is called it. Uh, we've actually raised quite a bit more because many of you have been very generous, so I appreciate that. Wow. So we're going to make a donation to both those, both those organizations as soon as we get the final. We are bomb. We haven't paid yet for tonight. Uh, <laughs> 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 Thanks, guys.